Hey guys, my name is Vest and today I'll be playing Frembo. Frembo is a classic that I've wanted to play for so long, but somehow I never played it. I can't wait to see what I missed. Have fun. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Ooh. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh, red. Mom? Dad? More red. Oh, please don't. Oh, yikes. Mommy. Daddy. What the hell? What happened? Whoa. Mr. Midnight seems pissed. Oh, it's just scared. Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. I'm at the doctor's. Three. Friend, how do you feel? Uh, I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I found a killer and my cat. The cat is missing. It will be impossible to get him back. But now, I have something for you, friend. Uh, really? What do we have? Meds? Yeah, it's gonna be a red pill or a blue pill. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh. Okay. That's not too bad. This was my mother's purse. There's something in it? Open it. There's something inside. Oh, it's my inventory. How clever. Cool. What is this? Dear Stran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. 
When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. How nice. Why is she not picking me up and so I can live with her? She is worried about you. Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about that. She's fine. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go back to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. See? I don't want to try more medicine. It's called duotine, and it will make you feel relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. And it's red. <laughs> Anything new today, Dr. Durden? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Can I refuse to take the medicine and go... What? We don't have all day, friend. Take the pills, now. Uh, there's no option, right? I have to take the pill. Okay, whatever. Now what? I don't feel good. Whoa! What? Jeez! Oh no, take her back to her room. That nurse, don't let her take this ever again. So they are experimenting on me. Nice. Beware, Frambo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Friend, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. I'll come for you. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. Oh, there's a clown. I hate this game. Ah, uh, okay. Well, wake up, friend. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Check. Let's see, what, what, what is this? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Can we pick it, pick it up? Pick it up? One more time. La la la. It was the same as before, huh? Yeah. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I will get your nose. I will get it. Pinch your nose. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? No. Let me see. So I can look at things. I'm 10 years old. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. Uh, the Bao Degenar family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Deard has tried different medications and and all have been cancelled because of side effects. It's 1944. So we are in, in the war. Oh! Hey there! Hello, Phil! Hello. You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. Yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. The office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? 
He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Who is him? Oh, yikes. All doors are closed. You are, a, you are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Fuck that. Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Indeed, take it, Daddy. I hope somebody loves you. Uh oh, a secret box. Shh. A little box, it's open. Um. A key. It will certainly open something. Let me see. There was a drawer here, so can we use that key on the drawer? On the drawer. Yeah, 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 I got it. And there's something inside. What the hell is this? A ribbon? My hair clip. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Uh, the drawer is empty. Oh, it's in my inventory now. Okay. What is this? A picture of me and my family. And Mr. Midnight. Oh, my dear family. I'd guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. Okay. Um, what is this? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Red. There the, are the, the, those pills, right? I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. I hate that monster. Okay. Who are you? I used to have a blue dress like yours. Okay, this is Fillmore. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brunstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marshall Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay, good to be you. This one's closed. Of course, it's locked. Yeah. Oh, who the Mr. Horse? Are you having a good time? Hmm. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Ah, good point. Oh, hello, smoking nurse. Hello, friend. Good to see you awake. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it again. Uh, I'm not insane, but... <laughs> oh, I see. But Kitty told me to take the medicine to find him. You cat told you that? Then it must be a, re a really evil cat. Mr. Midnight is not evil. You shouldn't say things about anyone you don't know. Oh, sorry for being realistic. Now, go. I'm working. Can I take the smokes? Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Just look. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Empty bottle, empty glasses. Nothing useful. Towels. Towels? <laughs> I don't need towels. My legs are just fine. I'm not disabled, no. Let's see. Can we look outside? Oh! Oh, holy moly. Something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to a private place. Can we combine uh, shizzle? Won't work. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Can I just pick it up? No. 
but we can look outside. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Pran. Or is it a defense tower? That's my way out. Let's go open this door with the hair clip. Right? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Uh, use this as well. Ah, the shape is not right. Hmm. Can I give her the hook and tell her that I broke it? I will never do this. Nurse, something happened. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Fix this. Follow me. Okay. That is something. Now I can look at what she's writing. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. I, okay, I really can't do anything. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? <laughs> uh, what, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Sucks to be your nurse. Let's see what you are writing and smoke those cigarettes. Oh, it's not cigarettes. Okay. The patient has been sleeping almost all... Okay, I can't read this. Duotine. 8H. The nurse handwriting is awful, yeah. <laughs> That's what I figured out. Okay, what's this? Violent trauma can have a great impact on children. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. <laughs> the brain looks like a turtle. Let me see. Traumas. Okay, it's the same. Nothing. Ooh, I'll keep those patches to stop blood. Uh oh. Are we going to bleed? Ew. Coffee. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Well, let's open it. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Let's take the gun. Why would the nerve have this? She wants to kill us all. Oh, I can take the gun. Cool. I'll leave it as it was. Oh, uh, no, I'm not taking it. Damn it. Okay. Um. Okay. Hide. I know what to do. Let's see. It's eight, nine, four, three. Eight, nine, four, three. Four, three. Hide. Shit. It's what it says, right? Eight, nine. Oh. Four, five. That's it. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Should I take one? Watch your step. Oh, ho. well, this is another dimension. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Get out, creepy creature. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Oh, I've got a pin now. Nice. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? This is so weird. Oh, is that my head? Give my hat back, please. Weird. We can go down, but I'm wondering. Two happiness. You can see. 
You can see, but... Oh, he looks... Different as well. Why are you looking at me at that? You terrify me. I can't speak. Phil is playing with his uncle and his uncle is mad. Mad. Well, I think I'm mad. Hello? Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry, I can't you help help you, Mr. Deer. Well, I could use this one and put it in there. Trying out thing is good, but in this case it won't do any good. <laughs> okay. No, can't help. And the door is still locked. Let's see if we can go downstairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home. Now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. So... She wants to take me that, uh, to, to, my, to her home. Nice. Oh, poor fox. What was that? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Who did it? Yeah. Uh, it probably was me, right? Did I kill my parents? Or did the clown did it? Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. That makes two of us, friend. We are going to open the fucking door. Use this one on the door. Almost, but there's another hole. I'll need something else. Yeah, I got you covered. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Okay, let's combine it. Oh, fantastic. My very own special key. Noise. Yes, to happiness. Whoa. Daddy was not here. Mommy would not care. Okay. Let's go to the toilet. The king likes drawings. But now I missed something what was here. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting, yeah. Oh! It's Miss Midnight. Uh, you're my beloved friend. Beep, beep, brr. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Beep. You can't catch me because you haven't found me. Beep, beep. Let me catch you then. No. Um. Okay, I'll ignore you, Mr. Midnight. He's fake anyway. Why do you look like a fabric doll? Must be the mats. If I close this pillbox, will I go back to normal? Yeah. Oh, you seem happy now. Hello. You can see them. You do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh huh. I I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I do love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. There are crayons. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know. 
Who told you that? The one that follows me. Hi. Oh. That's mine. My crayons. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw the green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too, it hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes red milk, look. Oh, gee, oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Please, cure me, yes? And stop the red milk. I see what I can do. Yeah. I have Band-Aid. Here you are. I cured you. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Yes, I obtained a green gray crayon. I'll take the doll as well. This bed is very pink. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. Okay, let's look at the bathroom again. Now there's nothing. And now there is. Cool. Nice feature. Uh... I should go downstairs, right? Oh, never mind. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door is closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know, because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Fuck. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to fight my way out. Okay, that sucked. Do I, I don't have my key anymore. But I do have a crayon. Oh, there's a doctor. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, friend. Uh, I'm perfectly sane. My kitty told me to leave the sick place. He really needs me. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I'm not making up excuses, sir. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Uh, of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat now. Then go back to bed. I have to get out of here. So if I click on here, the nurse will come back? No, not this time. This gate is very locked. Okay, what's happening in hell? Oh! Hi there. Oh, so... Time is ticking. Is that the clue? Hello up there, miss. A bleeding clock. Oh, this clock sounds odd. Hmm. Weird. Oh, there's the key. Security officer. Let me talk to him. Bright my way out. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. What the fuck? What? What a bastard, you can kiss my butt! Indeed. I take the gun and shoot you in the butt, man. Fuck you. Can I do a prank call? If I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. Hey, get your hands off the office door. What is there in hell? 
<laughs> swine. Indeed. Reach the key. Yeah, but how? Wonder what part of the body that is. Can I take his head off? Ooh, a crunchy pig's head ready to be served. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Reach the key. Hmm. We'll figure it out. 